Asante. Our host bishop and the entire House of Clergy, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, our host governor, my colleague Mutula Jr., viongozi wote wale wako hapa kutoka serikali kuu na serikali ya county na wananchi watukufu wa wote diocese hamjambo mwea ya taiwe bwana sifiwe god is good and all the time asante sana your excellency tumefurahi sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo hii ni siku yangu ya pili kuja hapa wote. Tulikuwa hapa September last year katika ordination ya Bishop Kariuki na ukanituma hiyo siku na salamu na nikapatia hawa ndani watukufu wa wote. Nikawaambia ulikuwa unataka kuja lakini hukuweza na wakanituma nikwambie uje siku ingine. Na leo umefika. Teoseosio asanti sana. Your Excellency, mimi ni rafiki ya watu wa ukambani sana kwa sababu kule embu two wards, ward inaitwa Moya na Makema imejaa wakamba. Na huko hata MCA wanachagua anakuanga ni mkamba. So to me, Kambas are part and parcel of Embu County. Na nawapenda sana na pia wao wananipenda sana wananipatianga kura vibaya. Kwa hivyo nawapenda sana. Your Excellency, pia hawa ni jirani katika Eastern Province tumekuwa kitu kimoja. And I'm here feeling at home because pia tumewaletea Bishop ambaye alikuwa na sisi kule Embu, Bishop Kariuki ambaye sasa nasikia mnamuita Bishop Kasioka. Nikasema si Kasioka sasa tumefurahi sana kwamba eh, Makueni County and Embu County tumekuwa marafiki kwa sababu ya Bishop Kariuki. Na ndio maana tumekuja hapa mimi na seneta wetu na wananchi kutoka Embu County tumekuja kuambia bado tunawapenda na tutaendelea kuwashikilia. Your Excellency mimi nimefurahi kwamba umekubali kuja hapa kushikilia rafiki yako Bishop Kariuki kwa sababu tarehe tisa tulikuwa na yeye alikuwa amekuja katika ile National Lenten Campaign Lodge ya Catholic Church na tukikula late lunch akatuambia tukiwa na Bishop Moheria ako na haraka lazima malize haraka kwa sababu he has to drive all the way masaa nne kutoka embu mpaka hapa wote. Na ile shida alikuwa nayo ni kwamba anaishi kwa monastery. Na mahali anaishi kwa monastery ni kwa masista. Na huko kuna ile saa lazima uwe umefika. Na ni saa moja. Sasa alikuwa anatuambia ikifika saa moja kama hajafika atakuwa na shida kubwa sana anaweza lala nje. Kwa hivyo leo tumekuja kuhakikisha kwamba utapata mahali mzuri ya kulala utakuwa na mahali ya ofisi na utakuwa na mahali ya kufanyia watu wa wote diocese kazi mzuri na nataka kukushukuru kwamba ile bio na kazi ulitufanyia kule embu umeleta the same same energy katika makueni wote na mimi niliwaambia wakati tulikuwa hapa last ya kwamba mkiwa na Bishop Kariuki mtaanza kuona mambo ikibadilika hapa wote. Kwa hivyo mjue muko na Kasioka anajua kuchapa ka Kasioka mchapa kazi. Pia your excellency I want to thank you because nimesikia mheshimiwa mmoja hapa akisema haukuchaguliwa sana huku. Lakini even after that you have become a president of the entire country na umekuja hapa kuonyesha hawa watu wa makueni that you are their president and you are ready to work for them na ndio maana unasikia the kingdom iko karibu kuisha housing ndio hiyo nasikia ukiambiwa uhakikishe imeisha 
Najua pia markets zile unatengeneza in other counties hata huku makueni kuna markets ambazo umesema lazima ziishe ambazo zilikuwa zinaitwa economic stimulus package markets ambazo zilikuwa katika kila constituency one market na mingi ya hizo projects hazikuisha kwa miaka kumi na tano. We umeona usaidia mama mboga, umalize hizo markets, dio mama mboga aone mahali ya kufanyia biashara. Hiyo ni mzuri ama si mzuri? So your excellency, I just want to request the leadership of Makueni, the MPs, governor and all your MCAs, support the national projects that his excellency is going to bring to Makueni. Because he's bringing them, bringing those projects for the benefit of the people of Makweni. And I want to appreciate you, my brother Mutula Kilonzo, because I have seen you support projects that not only come from yourself, but also from the national government. Finally, Your Excellency, Niko na Rafiki Yangu Hapa Makweni Wathati. Na ni Rafiki Napenda who mentored me when I was in the civil society, na kanifundisha what governance means, what people-centered leadership means. Na naitua Professor Kivuda Kibwana. Na Professor, Your Excellency, is a very brilliant man, highly intelligent, hard worker, very humble. So kwa sababu ya kuwa very humble, it's very easy to forget Kivudha Kibwana because I would have kikuskuma juu ya kitu chochote. Ye anakaa tu, ukimuona ni saa, usipo muona ni saa. Uyo ni Professor Kivudha Kibwana rafiki yangu. Mina ataka kuomba Your Excellency. Nimesikia mwashimua ishongo wakisema serikali bado utaweza kuingiza watu wengine kwa serikali. Nataka kuomba. Ukiangalia watu wale watakufanyia kazi mzuri kwa serikali yako kutoka huku ukambani na kutoka hapa makueni, usisahau Professor Kivudha Kibwana. He's a very good man. And I know his heart. He means well for his people. Asanteni sana watu wa makueni, ngaia mora adhime, na moga auka na kasioka koola, embu, na mwe motoke adhie. Thank you very much. God bless you. Tunawapenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair and my colleague. To the bishops, thank you for your patience. I hope Mulwana and Nika notes because for all the people who have spoken, all the people who have come to the front, Nitanza Kuwaitisha Kasamu in a few minutes. CEOs, Makwenis, Mameni, Muonekane. CEOs, where are you? I've seen a list of 11. 